In this video, we will look at exchange rates, what they are in a very simple way on how to do them. So let's say I am in South Africa right now and I want to go to Europe. In Europe, they have the euro, that's their currency. So if I have 10 Rand 35 cents, just for example now, um, that will give me one euro in Europe. And this is what the exchange rate mean. Why is that the case? Because Europe is, um, they have a stronger economy. And so in this case, the Rand is actually weaker. All right. Now, what you need to know is the arrows. The arrows are the most important thing about this lesson. How do I go from this 10, 10,35 to 1? How do I get anything to go to 1? Any number, I divide it by itself. 10,35 divided by 10,35. Right, then how do I go from the euro to rand? There, I'm going to 1. From 1 to 10 so I multiply by 10,35 why because 1 times 10,35 gives me that 10,35 all right now that I have the arrows now I can do any example so let's say I have 2,000 Rand and I want to convert that into euros first thing I do is I check my arrows if I want to go from Rand to euro, I'm going to divide by 10,35. Just put it like that in your calculator and you will get an answer of 193,24. Okay, simple. What if I now have 7 euro and I want to convert that to rand? Look at your arrows, you're going to have to multiply that 7 by 10,35. When you multiply, you'll see you get something like 72,45. All right. Now let's do another example where we look at Rand again. And then on the other side, we look at Botswana Pula. So Botswana's currency is BWP and it's Pula. And if you compare the two, the ratio, this is actually going to be 0 0.8182. Once again, um, this is just an estimate. Um, it always changes as the years go by and even during the day at any time, this number could be different. Right, so in this case, Botswana has the stronger economy. So that's why they actually have a stronger currency. And once again, the rand is weaker. Okay, now let's get our arrows going firstly. If I want to go from rand to pula, what am I going to do? How do I go from one to another number? I must multiply by that number. One times anything gives you that number. Okay, and then that tells me the other one is the other way around. I must divide to go back. Um, a number divided by itself gives you 1. Alright, so in this case we have an example again. We say I have 500 Rand and I want to convert that to um, Botswana Pula. Uh, how am I going to do that? And then I see, okay, I have to multiply. And when you do that, you'll get an answer of 409,10. And then in another example, let's say I am now in Botswana. And there I have Pula, that's 2,200. And I want to go to South Africa, convert it to Rand. What am I going to do? I am going to divide by 0 0.8182. If I divide, I get an answer of 2,688. 83. Note that if I have a rand and I convert it to pula, I'll have less, right? Because the rand is weaker. If I have pula and I convert it to rand, I'll have more, right? So for any tourist, um, you would actually want to be 
in Botswana and then you would want to come to South Africa. Then you will have more money or your money could be worth more then. Alright, remember to share, like, subscribe and become part of the Whiteboard SA team.